What's up guys, Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. Super, super excited you guys. Today is the day, March 1st, 2019, the official street date for Shazam merch. So get ready because Shazam's here. The figures look super, super awesome. Um, Target, 10 bucks each, they're there. Um, they're not going to put them out on the shelves until early next week. Um, but most targets should have them in the back in stock. So you can take a look, ask somebody, they should be there. Um, super, super excited. Here's Shazam's UPC. Very cool stuff. Um, and then the other figures in the wave. Unfortunately, it looks like Pedro and Mary are not in the first wave, um, which is unfortunate. Um, but if you're looking for these in store, you'll find um, like four of Shazam, two of Freddy, and one Darla and one Eugene. they are eight per case, and every target gets one case. So very, very excited to have these, especially Freddy. Uh, we have not had a new rendition of Freddy Freeman in a very, very long time, so I'm very happy to have that. Here's Freddy's UPC code. Taking a look next at Darla. Very excited to have her. This is the first Darla action figure ever. Um, I know we got the pop, uh, but action figure wise, this is the first one. And she looks really, really awesome. Um, here's her UPC. And if we take a look next at Eugene, Eugene is also the, this is the first Eugene figure that we've gotten. So very, very happy to have him. Looks pretty cool. If we take a look at the back side, some cool box art for Eugene. And here is the UPC for Eugene. I also managed to find a couple of really cool books at Walmart, and they were pretty cheap. Um, this is the junior novel. There are some pictures in here. And then, of course, there's words too. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you these pictures. So, spoiler warning. So we've got Billy. We've got some more Billy and Freddy. And it looks like they got some superhero merch. There's the Shazam family. The wizard. Some more info with the wizard. Dr. Savannah. And some more pictures from the movie. It's really, really cool stuff, you guys. Head over to Walmart. Um, it looks like nothing is really spoiled. So, but there you go. I forewarned you. Um, it looks like in this other book, in Freddy's Guide, there is a lot more spoilers in there. There wasn't really much in this book. Um, and then this is the Jeff Johns book. Um same story as always. However, if you get it from Walmart, in the back, there's something really, really nice. Um, mine's in here still attached, but it's the CCXP poster, which is very cool. It was something that was only given out in Brazil, and now we get it here in the States. So very happy to have this poster and these books and this awesome, awesome Shazam merch. So we're going to get these figures out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we got these figures out of the packaging. They look awesome. I'm so, so excited for this movie. I'm so glad that we got these figures. Um, I mean, it's, it's a month, pretty much a month and four days that we got these figures early. You know, so there really is a lot to draw from here that we may see in the film. So taking a look first at Shazam, he is the basic figure. Um, so definitely not as much detail or articulation as the multiverse figure. But I got to say, he looks pretty awesome. Basic, basic sculpt. Um, but it's enough so that there is detail, like the little S's. The whole costume is textured. So you can see that throughout the figure. You can also see the lines um, on his shoulders and on his chest um, and on his legs. So that looks pretty cool. Um, the only thing is it's not, you know... There's no color or extra detail. You could do a black wash on him and make him look a bit darker. 
Um, there's a lot of work that you could do here as a customizer. The cape does not have any yellow lines on it, um, but everything is sculpted. Um, and it is a short cape with the hood, uh, with the collar cape, and with the traditional short cape. Um, underneath, uh, you see that the belt does loop all the way around. And it looks like a pretty decent figure. And there is peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Shazam looks like a really, really cool figure. Very happy to have him. And next, we're going to take a look at Shazam's articulation. Shazam has movement in his head, side to side, a little stiff. Does not look up or down very much. Um, in his shoulders, they come out, forward, and back. Um, at his elbow, there's a bend and there's a twist. And Shazam also has a wrist articulation that bends and twists. Twists out, not so much, but definitely twists in. Um, Shazam also has waist articulation. He's got movement in his legs that come forward. Back, not so much. He's got one cut at the knee. And he also has boot articulation. Very, very happy to have this articulation in his boots. Um, definitely makes a difference when posing. So Shazam is a great figure with some very decent articulation for 10 bucks. Shazam also comes with one of the seven deadly sins. This is Wrath. Wrath is uh, a stretchy toy. I wish it had been plastic, but it kind of makes sense. If you're a kid and you're going to play with this, you could pretend that like Wrath has, you know, captured Shazam. Um, and so you can put this around his neck just like that. Which I think is pretty cool, honestly. Um, there's a lot of different things that you could do with this. You could tie them like that. You could do all kinds of stuff. Uh, on the back of the box, it just shows that, you know, they're bendy. So that's about it. But pretty cool stuff for 10 bucks. Absolutely worth it. I got to say, I really, really like these guys. And I'm really excited for what's in store for this movie and the rest of the figures that we'll see. Taking a look next at Freddy, it is the exact same sculpt as Shazam. Uh, the only difference is in the head sculpt, and that's about it. Definitely looks like Adam Brody. I think this is very, very cool. I'm so happy to have a Captain Marvel Jr. or a Freddy figure. Very, very nice figure indeed. Um, we can see under the feet there is peg holes. Um, and on the back side, it is the exact same cape as Shazam. So it looks very... Very cool. I really like it, and I would definitely like to get a second Freddy later on and give him a red cape. I think that would be very cool to do. Um, you know, I think that's the, the traditional figure, um, you know, the traditional colors that we see. So I would definitely like to do that. But Freddy is a fantastic figure for only 10 bucks. I got to say, he's pretty awesome. Next, we're going to take a look at Freddy's articulation. Freddy has movement in his head, side to side, just like Shazam, at the shoulder, forward and back. At the elbow, there's a bend and a twist. He's got wrist articulation. There's a bend and a twist here too. There's also waist articulation. And we got movement in his legs, at his knees, and the same thing. There's a boot cut here too. So very cool stuff and very good articulation for Freddy. Freddy also comes with one of the seven deadly sins. This is pride. Pride is another bendy, stretchy type, um, but he looks really, really cool. I got to say, I wish we could see more of the detail in these. They're just, you know, giant hunks of plastic that stretch, but pride is pretty cool. I got to say, I really, really do like the wings. That's a very, very nice detail. And the same thing here. You can pretend that pride is, um, you know, captured Freddie Freeman. So I really like that a lot. Um, for $10, you really can't go wrong with these. I think they're really awesome, and I think kids will have a great time with these, especially playing with them. Um, I really, really do like this a lot. So there's Freddy, and there's Pride. Perfect. $10. Absolutely worth it. Next, if we take a look at Darla Dudley, she is a brand new figure, 100% new sculpt. Um, I'm betting they're going to use her torso for Mary Marvel. Um, but she looks really, really awesome. I'm super excited to have the very first Darla figure. She looks awesome, and I really, really do like her boots. If it'll focus in there, it looks really cool. They're like running shoes, so that's pretty awesome. She's got this similar texture on her costume, the little S's with some lines. 
which looks cool. She also has this sash, which we have not really seen too much before, except for on the Funko Pop figure. So I think that's a very nice touch and most likely something that we'll see in the movie. So Darla looks pretty awesome. She is sleeveless, so that's also pretty cool. It's a nice added touch, and she looks very, very nice. I got to say, I really, really do like this figure a lot. I forget the name of the actress, but uh, based on the pictures that I've seen and the Funko Pop, this looks pretty cool. So I'm very, very excited. Underneath her feet, there are peg holes. Taking a look at the back, there is no hood, so that's interesting. Um, but there is a cape and it looks like it's probably going to be the same cape as Mary Marvel. Um, and then, oh, that's really cool. So the sash isn't just the sash. It is basically a skirt or a half skirt. I think that's pretty cool. Did not know that. Very cool stuff. I got to say Darla is a very, very nice looking figure. Taking a look at Darla's articulation, there's movement in the head side to side. At her shoulders, out, forward, and back. At her elbows, there's a bend and a twist. At her wrists, there's a twist and a bend. She also has waist articulation, which is pretty cool. She's got movement in her legs, out. This one, not so much. It's hindered because of the skirt slash sash or whatever you want to call it. Um, there is movement in her leg. A little stiff, though. Be careful with the plastic. And she does have a boot cut. So all in all, there is some pretty great articulation for a $10 basic figure. I got to say, I really, really do like that a lot. Darla also comes with one of the seven deadly sins. This is Greed. Greed kind of looks like a red monkey or an orange monkey, but with four arms. And so same gimmick as before. You can capture Darla um, and this stretches. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I got to say the gimmick is very nice, especially for kids. And uh, you really can have some fun there and keep it creative. So I got to say, I really, really do like that. So all in all, pretty cool stuff. Um, Darla is a more lightweight figure, though. So you got to be careful balancing her out if you're going to put greed, um, you know, around her like greed has caught her. So but very cool stuff. Taking a look at Eugene, he looks pretty cool, but he's actually a really tall figure. Here's a comparison next to Shazam. He is a lot taller. And so I theorize that maybe this is the same buck that they want to use for Pedro. But I uh, gave it to Eugene on accident. So I'm not sure why that is. Um, he actually is more in scale with the multiverse Shazam figure. So keep that in mind. Um, I was a little bit surprised. I'm not sure what Mattel is thinking there, making this guy out of scale. I understand it for Pedro, but that's about it. Um, but he is a different sculpt, so there are more lines on Eugene than uh, Shazam. So I really do like that a lot. Um, I appreciate that it's not just a larger sculpt, but it is, it, at least to me, it looks like a different sculpt with more lines on him for sure. Which Eugene is supposed to be the tech wizard um, talking to computers and ATMs. So I understand why he's got more lines. Uh, his cape is also different. There is no collar cape, so you can see how it differs from Shazam, and it is longer, which is also very interesting. So it could probably be good for some really, really nice custom work underneath the cape. But yeah, a very, very nice figure for 10 bucks. He looks awesome. So aside from being out of scale, Eugene looks pretty cool. And I got to say, he looks a lot like the actor. I forget his first name, last name, Butler. Looks very, very cool. Taking a look at Eugene's articulation, we got movement in the head, side to side, movement in the arms, they come out forward and back. At the elbow, there's a bend and a twist. At the wrist, there's a twist and a bend. Uh, he also has waist articulation, which is pretty cool. Movement in the legs come forward, don't really go back. There is a bend at the knee, and there also is the boot cut, which I am a huge, huge fan of. So pretty cool stuff for a $10 figure. Eugene has some great articulation. So Eugene comes with Gluttony, another one of the seven deadly sins. Kind of looks like a big gorilla. Um, and he's probably the squishiest out of the bunch. Um, but I got to say, I really, really do like this feature. You can pretend that Gluttony has captured Eugene, which is pretty cool. Um, for 10 bucks, I got to say, these are definitely worth it. And they're a lot of fun. So I got to say... 
pretty awesome stuff. I am very, very happy with these figures. Here's a side comparison of the new Shazam figures with the basic Justice League figures. They fit in very, very nicely. Most especially, or most important for me, is Superman. And Superman fits in very, very well with these guys. So I gotta say, they look pretty awesome together. The only one who's a little bit taller is Eugene. And I guess that's understandable for the purpose of $10 basic figures. Together they look great. Here's one more size comparison with some of the other Shazam figures in my collection. So first off, we see that the seven deadly sins all stand at about the same height. And we also see here Shazam, the basic figure, is shorter uh, than the new DC collectible Shazam and shorter than the new multiverse Shazam. Um, we see that the two Freddies are about the same height, both made by Mattel. We see that Darla is a little bit shorter than the Mattel Mary Marvel. Uh, and we see that Eugene, of course, who is bigger, is definitely a lot more in scale with some of the new multiverse figures like Savannah. So all in all, really, really good stuff. And these figures will definitely fit in with your Shazam collection or your superhero collection or pretty much anything you got very nicely and very brightly. All right, you guys, so that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, these are the basic Target Shazam figures. We have Shazam, Freddy, Darla, and Eugene. Super, super awesome stuff. Great price point at $10 a piece. And I got to say, I really do love them. And I'm very excited for Mary and for Pedro and for the Shazam Hot Wheels and for anything else that we may find along the way. So keep it right here at my channel. As I find new stuff, I will absolutely review it. YouTube, thank you so much for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the support. You guys are awesome and I couldn't be doing this without you. So thank you so much for that. Once again, I'm Brandon and thanks for watching.